Hey, Dr. Mehta here from the Perspective Doctor team. Today, I wanted to answer a question we get all the time. How many shadowing hours do I need and how many doctors do I need to shadow as a pre-med? These are great questions and med schools are definitely interested in you shadowing a lot of different physicians to get a broad exposure. So let me get a little bit more specific in my answers here. The question of how many hours do you need to shadow is really one that doesn't necessarily have a definitive answer, but let's put one on there. I would say approximately 100. So what does that mean? Remember, if you shadow one doctor in one day, that's already 10 hours. So that might mean shadowing three different doctors over three different specialties over three different weeks, and already you're at 100 hours all told. It's not the actual amount of hours, but more so the quality and what you get out of it. When you write on your AMCAS activities section or your secondary essays about why you want to go into medicine, you want to be able to specifically tell them, hey listen, that time that I shadowed Dr. So-and-so, who is an orthopedic surgeon, and he did a hip replacement and that patient got up the next day and was pain-free, that was amazing. That's the kind of experience that we want you to have as a pre-med to make sure that medicine is truly what you want to do. Medicine is a really wide specialization, a really wide career with all kinds of different opportunities. For you as a pre-med, it's important to actually see a bunch of different specialties. Now the next thing that med schools want to see is that you've actually shadowed a variety of different doctors. Remember, medicine is an incredibly broad specialty. You have neurosurgeons and you have pathologists and in between you may have internal medicine doctors. Each of them does completely different things on a day-to-day basis. A neurosurgeon has a very different day than a pathologist who has a very different day than an internal medicine doc. As a pre-med, I want you to have exposure to at least some spectrum of what medicine and what medical doctors can do. Don't have all your shadowing experiences just be emergency medicine docs. Go see a surgery, go see a pathologist, go see a radiologist, go get the spectrum of what people want to do. Shadowing can also be gotten from a variety of different activities that you do. So you may be a scribe and that counts as some shadowing experience too. You may volunteer at a hospital or a free clinic and be shadowing physicians there. So there's all kinds of different ways to get shadowing experience. Now remember, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line and make sure to check out our blog. Thanks for checking out that video. I hope you found it helpful. For even more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog. And remember, if you need help through the MCAT, admissions, or USMLE, Med School Coach has you covered.